Well, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Absolutely Positively. I'm your host, Denny Kay, and it is my pleasure to be with you on today. So excited, as always. You know, every time you come on here, I'm excited because say that the Lord has made and I have something especially wonderful for you today. If this is your first time tuning in and rocking with me, then you might not know that this is a form created especially for you. It is based on quotes. It is based on motivational quotes to get you going through your week. So we start you off throughout the week and hope that something is said that it will meander through your brain wave and get you through so you know that you are wonderfully made and that everything you do matters, your voice, your thoughts, your mindset, all of that, your purpose. And we just want to drive that purpose all the way home so that way you can be encouraged to keep going and keep living in your purpose. And how do we do that if you're new? If you know and been rocking with me, tell the people, no, okay, <laughs> tell the people what we do here. We give out quotes, motivational quotes to help you throughout your week. And motiv uh, quotes really do that for me. Quotes do that for me in a way that just jump starts me, okay? And so I thought that that would be a good way to connect with you and help you live out your purpose. So without further ado, Let's get into it. So the first thing we do is we go into the quote, we reach into our absolutely positively jar, and we pull out a quote that's either been sent in or something that uh, really grabbed me um, or something that I've seen and I want to share with you, or it could be one of my favorites, which all of them are favorites because I love words. But we tell you the quote, we flesh that out and break it down and give you some real life, uh, you know, connection to it. Usually my real life connections, okay, my experiences. So without further ado, here we go. All right, today's quote comes, I saw this um, in a book that uh, when I was out shopping, I was looking through a book trying to figure out if I was going to buy it in a magazine, and I saw this. And uh, it comes to us from Marcus Aurelius, Marcus Aurelius, and that's A-U-R-E-L-I-U-S, but we'll post it so you'll see that as well. Anyway, Mr. Marcus says, the happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts. The happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts. So a lot of times I will... I'll get the quotes and then I will look them up, you know, Google them and just kind of see, flesh them out. But this one right here just really resonated with me that I kind of did a deep dive because it reminded me of a scripture that's in the Bible. And so um, as I prepare uh, for these shows, which I do, I look up my quotes or I look up the person or, you know, just try to find some connection because, you know, I want to bring you the most authentic um, part of me and this quote and how it relates to me. It just reminded me of so many things. But first, let's break it down. Okay. The happiness of your life. Let's start right there. The happiness of your life, not your mama's, not your brother's, not your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. The happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts. Let's rewind. The happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts. And so that's what really resonated with me because so often um, we are driven by what people say about us, to us, about our life. And it's not uncommon really to do that um, because 
from zero to 16? Because I think 16 is around the time where you start kind of pushing back, especially 18 for sure. 16 to 18, you start pushing back. So we'll say zero to 18. From zero to 18, you're pretty much told what your happiness should look like, what you should do, what, how you should think, you know, the best road that you should go down. Um, and, you know, that's just called parenting. I'm a parent. I've done it with my uh, kids as well. And so it is understandable that by the time you get over 18, that sometimes you struggle with how your thoughts and things you want for your life get kind of convoluted with what they wanted for your life, your parents or your mentors or your grandparents or whoever. And so it makes sense sometimes that we struggle with how to be happy with our life based on thoughts that we have. Does that make sense? Because we have been poured into so much with, you know, you should do this, you know, you're good at track, you should run track, and that's going to make you happy, you know, but deep down, you really want to dance, you know, you get kind of signed into what your happiness should look like, because you've really been, and I don't want to make it seem negative, but you literally have been force fed what your happiness should look like, or what happy is sometimes, and, and that's how it's supposed to, but see, during that time of zero to 16, you're supposed to take and glean some of that advice from your parents and, and whatnot. But then also um, your thoughts of who you are, because no one knows those but you. And try to vocalize that to your caregivers, um, your mentors, and they can help steer you. And sometimes that's what is what happens. But I think it's interesting that when so many of us um, come out on the other side and we're trying to figure out things to do to make us happy, we're stuck because we have adopted someone else's thoughts, someone else's happiness for us, and we don't really know what ours is. We don't connect to what, you know, needs to be done. So that's why I have on my Revive shirt today because I want to revive you back to your happiness and remind you what your happiness is. But then in order to do that, you got to connect to your thoughts. And so it says the happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts. So what do you want to do? What makes you happy? Not what makes mommy and daddy happy. What makes you happy, boo? What makes you happy, friend? You have to think about what that is and then not try to dilute it, not try to um, suppress it, to just live openly with whatever that is. And I know that might be kind of taboo right now, but it depends on the quality of your thoughts. If you have bad thoughts coming in, you know, I, I'll use some of my children in this example. You know, well, people say I should run track and I like to run, but that's something I don't necessarily want to do the rest of my life. Or I like playing this sport. Or I like doing this, but it's not what makes me happy. X makes me happy. Okay, well, let's think about things that's going to uh, bring you the happiness of your life. Something that makes, you know, ooey gooey on the inside and you can't help but to burst into laughter because you're so happy or your smile is so big that, you know, the sun got to shut down for a day. You got it, boo. You shining. Okay. You see what I'm saying? You have to connect with what makes you happy and fill your brain with those thoughts so you can have the happiness of life. It says it depends on the quality of your thoughts. What are the quality of your thoughts? If you got bad thoughts, oh, I ain't gonna never gonna be able to do it because I'm not this, I'm not good. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to push the record and bring on the shine or whatever like Denny K. Well, is this what you're supposed to be doing? You know, because this is the quality of the thoughts, quality for my life and the happiness of my life. This is Denny K. That's what she's doing. What are you? What are you doing? What thoughts are going in your head? Let's take the negative out of it. I know that's hard. That's probably the biggest one. So maybe you know what's going to make you happy, but 
And it has nothing to do with what mama or the caregivers or grandparents or mentors, the pastor said. This is about you. You telling yourself you ain't good enough. You telling yourself you 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 can't do it the way she do it or the way he does it. Maybe you telling yourself, okay, you, you'll never have enough money to kick it off the ground because you know having this job or having this entrepreneurship or or doing this uh, venture. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough charisma. I don't. I don't have enough. Just period. That's 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 some bad thoughts. Okay, we need good thoughts. We need positive thoughts. We need the I E M thoughts, the inspiring, the encouraging, the motivating thoughts, so you can have the greatest happiness of your life. And I'm talking about depend on. Anything. We, we're talking about anything. Relationships. We're talking about jobs, careers, money, just any of it. You pick it. Whatever is the happiness of your life. So here's the formula. Identify what's going to make you happy. Bring you true happiness. True happiness. If that's to get married, that, that's your business. But we need to get some good thoughts. Okay, I'm going to find a man that aligns with. I'm going to find a, a lady that aligns with what I want to do and my beliefs and my value system. And, and, and I, I, I too, am going to find this. But if you're talking about, I ain't going to never find a man. There ain't no man out here. They all dogs. I ain't going to never find no women out here. They they doing this and they, they doing the most. They want me to always pay bills. Then you're not. Because it says the quality of your thoughts. What are the qualities of your thoughts right now? What are you telling yourself? You got to get around some some good thought people, or some good thought, uh, uh, or some IEM type of shows. You you got to get in forms that's gonna um, align with where you're trying to go. And so what you put in, what you put in here, manifests here and then manifest out there okay that's what the scripture talks about there's a scripture that talks about you know your treasure lies with what you put into it for the most part so if you put in bad stuff in there then that's how it's going to manifest and so this is what this is saying the quality of your thoughts is linked to the happiness of your life whoa that's a t-shirt right there the quality of your thoughts is linked to the happiness of your life. So what are you thinking about? What are you doing? What are you thinking about in the, and I'm talking about in the wee hours of the night. What are you thinking about? So here's my real life example. So when I decided to be um, going to the entrepreneur game, you know, there's so many people out there doing it. um, But I just thought, you know, there's people out there that don't want to do that. They don't want to do herbs. They don't want to do motivation. They don't want to hear any of that. You know, holistic practitioner. That's what I feel I am. You know, mind, body, and spirit. Nobody wants to do that. Nobody. And so I kept telling myself nobody wanted to hear it. Nobody wanted to do it. So therefore, I was not going to be successful. And so I was pretty miserable just walking around mad at everybody else because of what I wasn't doing. But then one particular day, I decided to post something very transparently, just post something. And then I had people inquiring about said thing. And I thought, hmm, people do care. Now, it might not be the thousands that I was hoping for. But that's the quality of my thoughts. I was trying to start out too big instead of starting small. And then from that, it grew. The questions and and then people asking me about stuff. And and to this day, people still ask me about that particular thing and that, you know, fit into my holistic brand. And I thought, oh, my goodness, it was the quality of my thoughts. And now I can wake up every day and just live in happiness because, of I get to do what I love. 
I get to talk to people about essential oils and 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 herbs and I get to motivate people. Anybody that clicks this link through Mute Mogul Media, uh, get to see me talk about, you know, motivational quotes, something that's very um powerful to me. That's something that I use myself every day to motivate myself to get out of bed. Remember some of these things into my head. Oh, the heck it depends on the quality of your thoughts. Okay, let me let me change that. This stuff resonates in me. It's like a garden, y'all. Whatever you plant is gonna grow. How you water it, how you nurture it, how it gets the sunlight that it needs, you know, the water, you know, the environment, then it will grow. Something very fruitful and blossom and this wonderful, wonderful thing of beauty. This is this. Your thoughts. So what is the quality of your thoughts? What is the quality of your thoughts? That's your charge today. What is the quality of your thoughts? Write some stuff down that you're thinking about, and then next to it, draw an arrow and see how it can manifest. And then put some of them other thoughts, them bad thoughts, and put an arrow and see what's going to manifest from those. So that's what I encourage you to do today. This was a really good one. I really hope that you revive, restore to life, uh, consciousness and strength that you revive those positive thoughts that I know that are in there. They're wanting to be released or they're wanting to come in here. You know, revive them, revive that soil, get that soil fertile and get ready for those thoughts that are about to come in. And then, boom, you're going to bloom your happiness. You're going to bloom the happiness of your life. <laughs> Woo! Boy, I tell you, these quotes, they get me fired up, y'all. I am so happy that you joined me today. I hope something that has been said, something that has been illustrated, brings you to your purpose-driven life in the IEM, your IEM purpose-driven life. So remember, whatever you do, whatever you say, wherever you go, make sure that you do it absolutely positively because Denny K says so. <laughs> Actually, you know what? No, not because Denny K says so, just because you said so. So whatever you do, wherever you go, let it be done absolutely positively because you said so, not me. All right. Thank you so much. Hope you link, subscribe, share this video with someone that needs to um, hear it. And that will absolutely positively make my day. All right. Take care, guys. Until next time.